had a nice day, right? So cloud cover, 72. I mean, these guys must be living right. But uh, I'm sure we'll get the heat here soon. So it's a good little runway in the camp, you know? Uh, Johnny Langan, with, with his role? Uh, well, he's a quarterback, but he's also uh, a multi-positional player, right? So he can line up a wide out, tight end. He can line up with running back. He'll line up in different packages. He'll line up in different spots. And that's, a, I think, a good weapon to have. Can you envision a bigger role for him? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Roles are earned. So if he, if he deserves it, there'll be a bigger role. I hope so. I think he's hard to defend if if he can do multiple things, but you got to earn it. And there's a lot of good athletes out there that want to touch the ball. Only you know, one ball, so you figure it out. Does that kind of show you guys have trust in him? That's a lot. Right, so you know, one guy to handle all the different positions. Yeah, now we're not asking him to understand yeah. everything about every position. Johnny has things that Johnny does in each position. <coughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I trust Johnny. He's worked really hard. Yeah. Yesterday I asked about guys reporting. Um, any clarity on that? Yeah, why don't you ask me guys, and I'll answer questions rather than me. Because I mean, my mind was on practice, not the guys that aren't here. And you got to remember, sometimes the guys that aren't here, in my mind, haven't been here for three months. But you just don't know that yet. So if you ask guys, I'll answer. Is that fair? For sure. Peyton is not here. Any reason? Uh, right now, he's not part of the team. You know, we'll see if he if he does become part of the team, but as we speak today, he wasn't on the roster, so. Yeah. Christian Broswell, man? Christian's here. Christian um, had to have knee surgery, so he won't he won't play this year. Uh, Robin, I saw him. Robin, now, yeah, like... Robin is going to be a student assistant. Um, he had to medically disqualify because of the, something that happened last year. You know, so that's a shame because he's a great person, a great hard worker, but he's going to help us as a coach. He's going to be part of our coaching staff in that in that realm. Uh, it will be an important part of what we do still. How much will turnover be a theme of this training camp? I mean, you guys, uh, you know, you had some real good games, the Michigan State game comes to mind, Nebraska too, but like, you know, it, it, I know it's always an emphasis on how much of this training camp will be a theme. Well, to me, you know, the ball is the program. Coach Shiraka started that here uh, in 2009 or whenever he joined us. And uh, that's become part of who we are. So, yeah, it's it's critical on all three phases. You know, if you have it, you need to continue to possess it. And if you don't, you're trying to take it away. Greg, since you've been here, you've had a ton of defensive linemen to the roster. What, do you have, like, an ideal number of how many you guys you want to rotate on the interior? Well, what we like to do, and I'm not saying we can always do it, is we love to play 8 to 10 to 11 guys. Mm -hmm. And literally, like hockey waves, keep rolling guys out there fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, but you don't do that at you know at some point a tired so and so is better than a fresh so and so so then yeah. that's where you stop so again those plays are earned not you know we don't just do it because mm -hmm. that's our philosophy but if we if we have the guys to do it that is our philosophy mm -hmm. and sticking with the DUI and, uh, you guys signed Keontae Hamilton this past offseason as a tight end originally now he's on the defensive line what went into that switch um, I know he played it in high school. I, yeah, he played it, and that's where we yeah. felt he would best serve the team. Every, everything we do is to give us the best chance to win, mm -hmm. and we feel like that's where he gives us the best chance to win, whether it be immediately or eventually, you know, in some of the younger guys' cases. I think he's uniquely gifted, though. I think Keontae can play a lot of positions. Yeah. Ifan has uh, been an exciting guy. You know, right now he's, he's got a little bit of a lower lower extremity deal that he's working through, but I think he's going to be fine. And uh, I think he's got some explosiveness for a big man. 280 plus pound man, he's got some explosiveness. Yeah, right now he, Mayan, uh, Jamri will get some work there. We're going to rotate some guys through, plus the young guys. I mean, we have some young promising three techniques I think we just need to you know, figure out what college football is about. Right? We asked you before about 03 coming back. How about Tyshawn Fogg coming back? What does he bring in another year? And how... Well, Tyshawn is a really physical player, right? He brings a physicality to your defense. He's a mature guy. Um, so, I, I mean, we're excited about that. You know, when guys get hurt and they're out, you, you, people kind of just forget. <clears throat> he's, made, he's played a lot of football here and made a lot of plays, a lot of tackles. So, he's another addition. Again, I'd like to be able to play more than just one guy in there. You know, we have. Uh, 
Tariq Maddox Williams is doing a great job as well. So, you know, unless someone is that much better, I'd like to see more guys play. Um, I know there's different rules and everything, but how much different is training camp yeah. from you know, the one when you first arrived to now? Do you ever take a minute to kind of like soak it all in? I know it's a different walkway up here and obviously a new field and everything, but, you know, ever take a minute to kind of like appreciate it? Well, I'll tell you what, first off, this facility, you know, the towers, I can't thank them enough for what they did. I mean, this is unbelievable. This is as good as there is in America, right? The grass fields are immaculate. Matt Hen, our guy who takes care, he does an unbelievable job with his staff. We got the new turf field over there. So this is night and day. I mean, right there used to be that light bulb that was one storm away from falling, and then finally did. Um, but the rules are so different, right? You used to have two a days. And then you'd have a walk through at night. And, you know, now it's one one a day to walk through at night. So, but you know it's all good. I think the game of football is adjusting the way it needs to to keep growing. You know, right? And you got to make sure at the younger ages that we keep growing the game because otherwise, if you don't grow it down here, it dies up here. So, I think that's something that I am personally involved with, and, and I think most coaches. Because, look, I just got done telling the team, we, we are part of the greatest game on the planet. And look what it's done for all these people's lives that are here. Like, to, to not respect it and treat it the way it's supposed to be treated, it, that would be silly. Right? So I, I really think that's our responsibility as coaches, to teach these guys. It's their job to be the ambassador for the sport. <laughs> Well, you know, we're in what you call the install period. So we will install, install 95% of our offensive, defensive, and kicking game in six practices. So that is, as you can imagine, a rush of information. But then you go back the rest of the camp and shine it up. But it's the, you know, the whole part, whole learning theory. You throw it all at them, you break it down, and then hopefully, once you get into the season, you bring it back together and it's ready to be put together. You know, some years it is, some years it isn't. That's depending on your team. Craig, you have a lot of experience coming back into the secondary this all, or this season. Uh, how would you compare it to some of the secondaries of the past where you coached the McCordys, the Ryans, the Harmons, and so on? There is some experience. I'm not ready to put it in that classification. They're mm -hmm. capable, but they got to do that still. Good. Yeah.